Thank you for being here. I'm very pleased to announce that we have come to a tentative agreement with the Reno Firefighters Local 731. The next step in this agreement is to go to a vote of the bargaining group's membership. Once it's approved, then it'll come back to the city of Reno for the council for adoption. This agreement is a big step for providing new and permanent programs to our city and working with our firemen. The firefighters brought forward a proposal that met and exceeded everything we were looking for. The agreement includes a number of concessions, including the salaries and all of the different things that we had asked them for. They stepped up and helped us out. Reaching this agreement also means that the city will not, be a, will not have to lay off 12 firefighters. The city will also be able to bring back 10 firefighters on accepting the SAFER grant. The union, the city manager, staff, and all the council have been working very hard to make this happen. And folks, contrary to what people might think, we do love our firemen, we appreciate them, and we do respect them. The fights and the arguments and stuff and negotiations are nothing but business. Everybody is working to protect their own and working with them, and there's no vindictiveness or anything like that from the city council or anybody. All of our city employees are very, very dedicated to the city and mean a lot to us. Our firemen are very dedicated to this city. They have worked very hard, and they've helped us a lot. I really want to thank Dennis Jacobson. Dennis, I want to thank you for everything. You and your team have done an excellent job. You're tough, but it's fun. I mean, uh, sometimes we look at each other like we're mad at each other, but I don't think that's ever been the case. No, sir. And uh, we're just proud of uh, working with you and your team and making this happen, and it's great for our city. And I'd like to also thank Councilman Dave Azzi. Councilman, come up here a minute. Councilman Azzi, meeting with you, not going to negotiations, but meeting with you. Y'all have had some great meetings and stuff, and uh, I've seen both of you come out of rooms scratching your head, but that's what it's all about. And I really want to thank Kevin Knudsen, our city manager. Kevin, you've done a wonderful job. You've done a great job working. Uh, the thing I like about the project, you didn't get 100%, we didn't get 100%. So that makes it a good deal, and I think it's good for everybody, and it's good for our city, and we really appreciate the firemen stepping up and helping us and working with us during these difficult times. And we look forward to working with you for many years to come. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman. Dennis, you want to say something? I will, but thank it's you very your much. turn. Okay. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, as the mayor said, it uh, has been a very uh, uh, difficult couple of weeks. Uh, there have been a lot of late hours put in. Uh, I also would like to recognize uh, the both folks on the sides of the table. Uh, my team did a phenomenal job. The city's team rose to the occasion. Uh, but in the end, there was a three folks that really made this come together. As the mayor has said, uh, Councilman Iazi uh, was uh, tenacious in working with us. Uh, the city manager, uh, Mr. Knudsen, uh, kept it all together. And my chief negotiator, uh, Dick Noxheim, uh, put in uh, the hours necessary at my beck and call. Uh, we sat across the table. It was uh, in the true form of negotiation. Uh, we worked out our differences, and the results are uh, a community that's going to be uh, served better and hopefully some financial stability uh, going forward for the city. So, again, thank you very much. Any questions or anything you want to ask at this time? So one-on-one? -on -one? Because we're live right now through the city's uh, site. Well, the terms of it, that's a long list, and we have, and we'll get you a copy of it and give it to you. Uh, but there's a lot of give and take from both sides. Yes, sir. Did you expect to work this out? Huh? Did you expect to work this 
expect to work this out through the negotiations? Oh, I think I did, even though, the, you know, during negotiations, things get heated and once in a while, and I thought we'd always come to an agreement. It's just a matter of when, if we could put it together. I agree. I agree. Yeah, we, uh, uh, as I said, explored differences, but in the end, uh, we came together, worked them out, and uh, what is going to be passed out to you will be the results of that effort. You said this, uh, you've agreed to accept the safer grant. Didn't that require that the city guarantee jobs? I'm trying to remember the details. It promises that we won't lay off for the two years, but part of the details, and I don't have all the details, but we've given them to you, the details and stuff, we worked out and we thought it was very good for our city. You know, the main thing is we've had to cut so many people that we're putting our city at, at some jeopardy and stuff. But they gave some concessions that make it where it's better and it really helps with public safety. And that's what they were wanting. That's what we want.